Is Skyrim VR still good in 2022? No. I mean, yeah, all right. Look, it's a bit complicated. Before I begin, let me take you back to a year ago from today. A year ago I made this video, is Skyrim VR still good in 2021? Now before you accuse me of view farming, there is a very legitimate reason why I'm doing a second version of this video. The reason is at the time that I made the review of Skyrim VR, I was relatively new to virtual reality. In fact, only about two weeks old at that point. So everything was new to me and everything about VR was amazing. Since then, I have made, you know, <clears throat> just a couple Skyrim VR videos and spent a lot of time both modding the game and playing it. And I will admit, my perspective on it has changed a lot over the course of the last year. So, here we are, asking the same question one year later with a much different opinion than young starry-eyed me blinded by my awe of VR. Before we get into it real quick, if you could hit the like button and subscribe, it would make a huge difference. It really helps out a lot, and it's a really quick, easy, and free way to help support the channel. Thanks, and with that being said, let's jump into this thing, shall we? All right, so the question hasn't really been answered yet. I sort of alluded to what my answer would be in the intro. Is Skyrim VR still good in 2022? Yes and no. Okay, here's why. Let's get the bad stuff out of the way first and talk about why it really is not a good game. Objectively, Skyrim VR in its base unmodded format is, well, there's no other way to put it. It's dog shit. It's dookie, big fart, swing and a miss, here, yeah, bada bada. Bethesda took the most Bethesda way out for Skyrim VR that I've ever seen in my life. They took an already janky, glitchy format of the game, did a quick copy pasta to a VR format, wiped their hands, and called it a day, and voila, here's the fifth edition of the game we already sold to you four times and plan on selling to you at least five more times before ES6 comes out. The game is so janky and glitchy that it's actually a rarity if your Helgen cart ride doesn't completely go off the rails. They didn't attempt to revamp or redo the user interface at all to make it more friendly to VR users. They didn't add any type of full body or anybody for that matter for VR users to see in game. There's no way to even look at your own character. There were these really weird looking hands that aren't capable of finger tracking anything at all. Not even the most basic viver quest finger tracking. They might as well have called the game the button pusher scrolls a Skyrim VR user's worst nightmare. Seriously, this is maybe the only point I was actually right about in my original video, which is this. Whose f***ing idea was it to have a VR game that doesn't encourage you to make use of your VR at all? What is the difference between a desktop game and Skyrim VR at that point if you just spam buttons to do anything in the game? I don't want to push a button to open a chest. I just want to open the chest, and I don't want to spend half my time staring at a menu screen in VR. Now look, granted, I get it, the game is ancient at this point, it was originally designed to run on an Xbox 360, so I will cut them a little slack for that. The fact that it's even available in VR is actually amazing. Which leads me to the good side of Skyrim VR and why Yes, I do think Skyrim VR is still good in 2022. In fact, I think it is one of the best VR games available still, and I'll tell you exactly why. First, it is still the only truly open world RPG in VR with the sheer scale and size that a game like Skyrim would be capable of producing. The amount of times I've gotten lost, and not like wandered off, like I mean legitimately actually lost and didn't know where I was going in Skyrim is probably only rivaled by the amount of times I did the same thing in Oblivion. And when you've got the headset on and you're completely immersed in that world and it feels like you've been transported to a completely different universe, you could spend hours in there and not realize it. You truly get lost, both literally and figuratively. The next thing, and probably one of the biggest reasons, no, it's literally the only reason that Skyrim VR isn't getting a mediocre review from me right now is the mods. The mods fix, repair, staple back together every broken, missing, glitchy piece 
of this game. Every complaint listed for the first half of this video can be solved by modding the game. If you have a little bit of patience and time, modding Skyrim VR is easier than it has ever been before. In almost all cases, it's as simple as clicking a button on Nexus Mods and then clicking install on your preferred mod manager client. There are a few exceptions to that rule, but for the most part and overwhelmingly, the majority of mods available currently are just super easy to install. You don't have to be a computer whiz or a coding genius or anything to mod nowadays. The mods take this game to an incredible new level, as you can mod virtually every aspect of the game, from the missing body itself, to retextures and overhauls, to make everything look modern and updated, <laughs> I have a video about that, <clears throat> to completely transforming the game itself into something different entirely. <laughs> I have several videos about that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad one. <laughs> the point is, the mods really are the main redeeming quality for all of Skyrim VR's shortfalls. Without them, the game would still be broken, glitchy, and quite frankly, a really unappealing mess. With them, however, it not only fixes the game itself, it makes it better than I think Bethesda could have even made it themselves. And that's a pro-life pro tip made with real facts and, and stuff and things. That's all I got for today's video, guys. I thought I needed to issue a correction to my previous video as my current level of experience with the game drastically changed my perspective and opinion on it. But that's not really that important. What is important is what you think. Let me know in the comment section down below what your take on Skyrim VR is. What do you think the best or worst parts of it are in your own humble opinion? Remember, do all that YouTube stuff. Punch, hit, slap, like, subscribe, notification now, and yippee ki -yay. I'm gonna get out of here. I got some Skyrim VR to mod. Thanks for watching, everyone. I love each and every one of you beautiful father muckers. Ramsey out.